Get that thing out of my face. <laughs> you want to go what? build something? What? 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 I want to go build something. What All right, what are we going to go do? Start laying some roots down. Laying Plant, some what? Planting some seeds. All right, we're going to plant some seeds, baby. Let's look around. Uh-huh. All right, this is the rock and roll room right here. Hey, what's happening, man? Nothing much. So tell us about you. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Mark. I'm from Scotland. From Scotland? <laughs> yeah. Man, what's uh, in Scotland? Old things. Old things? Yeah. Man, what, 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 what's the oldest thing there? And what's the significance? I don't know. You don't know? No. Man, you ain't from Scotland. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Kate. Kate, how are you doing, Kate? Doing pretty good, JB. All right, Kate, so tell us about you. I'm Kristen's cousin. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Kristen's cousin, Kate. Tell us about Kristen. Kristen is incredible. And she is probably the greatest person you'll ever meet. Really? Based upon what? Based upon her ability to make shit happen. Uh, so she doesn't mess around, huh? Nope. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why I'm here. Mm -hmm. I think that we're going to do great things together. You can do great things with Kristen, no matter what they are. Really? That's all she does is great things. Woo-wee! All right, let's take it to a little tour here. All right, so we have things for sale. Things for sale right here. We have uh, cigarette have butts. If you want cigarette butts, bring your butt over here. Okay, now, let's see. Hey, are you really from Scotland, man? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, you know how to do the little Scottish dances or something? <laughs> you ain't from Scotland. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, Elvis. Oh, that's not Elvis. That's just a really cool guy with glasses on. We'll find out who he is later. Breathe, baby, breathe. <sighs> breathe now. Okay, all right, now, we've got things for sale, and things, and more things, and interesting, interesting things, lots of things. So, look at this record collection over here, y'all. I don't know if those are for sale. I think that we are keeping the, we're keeping the music, all right? The music is not for sale, yo. Don't touch the music. Do not touch the music. You're not touching it. Uh-huh. All right, so this is the soul room right here. Ah, uh, shit. Uh-huh. Talk to me in a week. Uh, uh, uh. I just moved in yesterday. Stop lying. My shit's been here for a long time, along with everybody else's shit, but I just moved in yesterday. Like, I just cleaned out uh, the past tenant's stuff from behind the mirror in the bathroom. Uh-huh. No. Hi, right, but yo, for real though, how long you been in here? I've been here since May, taking care of the property. Okay, so tell us about this property. Tell about tell us about its significance. Tell about tell us about the work you've been doing and what well, you plan on doing. What is the significance of this place to me? As far, you know, we can go through. Oh, what is Studio Thirty One? It's really just the studio on Thirty First, which is uh, a magical place. It's harbored a lot of uh, beautiful, beautiful moments that people have shared that would. Not a, you know, never meet these people in your life if it weren't for this place, you know, kind of thing. There's been a lot of uh, porch time. We used to play music on the porch. Tara and Randy Fearborn are two amazing people, and they opened up this spot, I think, in 2002. 2000, 2000, 2002. All right, say the names again. Oh, Tara and Randy Fearborn. Okay. They are, um, they're, they are extraordinary. Hmm. Uh, the, their relationship, first off, I, I admire and love. They're so in love to this day. We've got uh, beautiful kids, Lauren Zuniga, Caitlin Brown, Cody and Blake Fearborn. Oh, Lauren Zuniga, the poet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. The amazing poet. You know, Cody, the, the sculptor. I'm actually a fan of hers. I as well. Uh, oh, my goodness. Wow. How could you not be? They were like family to me. They adopted me many years ago. I feel like this place is family to me and to many others. Everyone else understands the uh, 
This is why you need to wear a hat. This is why we wear hats. <laughs> um, Yo, you are rocking right now. Yo, yeah, so, so then, you know. We're going to get to the, to the closet too, right? We're going to talk about the closet also. What closet? The closet, closet. you know. <laughs> yeah, your closet. It's everywhere. You're a wonderful, wonderful closet. Um, yeah. So much style. Bam! Well, the idea that my closet just happened when I just started buying cool shit that wasn't my size and never will be, like shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, okay, what the hell are you going to do with all this shit? It's a really cool necklace and you can play with that sometime. I wonder if that could be a belt. But Ooh. it's like, uh, this is a Merry Holidays. I have a lot of her inventory, all the stuff that you see is hers. Look at this old clamp. What's her name again? Mary Holiday. Mary Holiday. Oh wow, that would be so cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're flipping the script. I might be a little... How many things can you get caught? How much jewelry can you wear? My mom got me this bracelet and it's not really one that I wear every day. But that's mm. a, yeah, we could totally rock that. Make this a little bit shorter. She's so cool. This house is cool. So you're talking to me about the studio. Yeah. Um, a lot of people have lived here. It's been, there's a really nice uh, thing at the uh, front entrance in a frame. It says Studio 31 and Caitlin, the youngest of the, the little Brady bunch of, because uh, the Tara's got the girls and Randy's got the boys. Mm -hmm. And so the youngest of their little bunch is an amazing writer and artist and uh Feeler of life and, and love and all that shit. And uh, she uh, was gracious enough to help me with a bio, like just timeline lines. I've got a little, you know, actual visual bio too of what the houses look like and changed and become since it was opened. But I lived here with my kiddos back in the day. They had bunk beds where my son is now. And uh, Victor Zuniga, father of Briam, and uh, Kavi, Lauren's children. Uh, he's an amazing vocalist and poet himself. They are very all, they're just all very artistic people. Mm. And you know, you've met Victor, he, he's a man. Oh. I haven't met him. Yes, you have. You I met Lauren. Oh, oh, Victor? That's her, that is the, her. Really? That is the, the man that fathered her children. And they are really? I had no idea. Yo, he's such an amazing singer. Get him on some Amos Lee, man. Oh, wow. Think about that. Because that would rock. I'm trying to think if I like this or not. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I'm so feeling that. Yeah, feel yeah. with the leg warmers. What? Oh, my pants are too short. They can't pull high. It's cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. Hey, you gotta improvise. You gotta improvise. <laughs> it's cold outside. Let me do some funk action. Um. Okay. So why am I here? You really want to just keep talking as we're doing this? Yeah. Okay, you know. I mean, when you're tired of me, and I'll just shut the camera off. You know what I'm saying? It's time to leave. We just damn. Look at this space, yo. Okay, well, this is all. We're growing. This is all. This is the all filing cabinets right now. This all was very different yesterday. We had a lot of inventory, a lot of empty boxes, a lot of organization we didn't have two days ago. Literally, uh -huh. the amount of boxes we found to are just insane. I mean, the everything was different. That table is not the desk, and it was kind of where we pulled everything out. It was over there. I slept in here. We'll see the closet next. <laughs> There's the bed. Hey, we're working on it, guys. We're working on it. <laughs> Amazingly enough, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Whoa, things, bam! Things fall when you're walking yeah. in the madness of the progress. Help! Um, Help us! You won't get to have to You won't believe it or not, shit I've been through. This is nothing. Um, <sighs> Anyway, so Please I, help us! I did live in here and the bed was like this this morning and it was down and it was a futon. Oh, wow. And now it's just really cluttered because I haven't made everything. If you come back tomorrow in video, you're going to be like, oh my god. Oh, you're going to get that much done by yourself, huh? Oh, you have no idea. Okay, that's, no idea that's why you said what task. I guess I'm going to have to do a little bit more than toilets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Perhaps. My grandma gave me this. Oh, wow. Jeez. The stones are great, but they're gold. I kind of just want to put on as much hideous shit as I possibly can right now. Yo, do that. Hilarious. Do that. Kill um, the game. Okay. Oh, so yeah, yo, we only got him for so long, though. Who? Um, I forget his name. Man. I'm sorry. You know, how, come on now. No, I don't know what you're talking um, about. Um, the restaurant guy. Uh, the restaurant guy. I thought we were just going to see the restaurant. Yeah, but, um... They closed? The one who's here. Oh, so you're wanting us to see someone and speak with them? This well, he, he wants to go and, like, come back. No, he's not going to go. He's not going to go? Uh -uh. Uh. He's got, you know, lady obligations, and sometimes uh, those just... Okay. Well, he was really wanting to go because I convinced him. Yeah, he You does. know I kept working on him. He knows that all that... He, he, if, he'll come. Okay. You know, things happen the way they're supposed to, and you gotta let it roll. You gotta go with the current, baby doll. All right. Help! Buy the Christmas closet for a minute. <laughs> Help! <laughs> it was a lot of <laughs> I assure you. Okay, yeah. So you walk this way, and just imagine, you know, like, this is, you know, not so crazy. Things are organized right now. We'll say all good Well, it looks so good on camera, though, actually. <laughs> the lighting better be dead. That's my deal. I can't handle lighting. It sucks. All right. Well, it looks like you did a pretty good job. Like, you worked with... It, it feels job. very, like, um... Almost like a museum shop. Yeah. Yeah, like a museum shop. Yeah. yeah. We just gotta get rid of the shit and then we can do the cool shit. Right? Yeah, yeah. So help. Come buy something. When we're ready, they will. Okay. Alright. <laughs> this place is so eclectic. 